home again. Yeah. Oh, I should be glad to get these boots off. I don't know how you manage, you waitresses. On your feet in high-heeled shoes all evening, so one day you're all crippled. Oh, we are. Deformed. <laughs> oh, you know I can't wear flat shoes anymore. Really? Really. Nearly killed me wearing them that time I went on the Pennine Way with Bill. All those miles of it. <laughs> I hate the countryside. Dickens in, I see. No, well, he would be. Asleep, too, if he's got any sense. You, uh, you're going straight to bed, Sophie. Yeah. Do you want some coffee? I wouldn't mind some cocoa. Is there any milk? I think so. Yeah. Shall I make you some? Oh, yes, please. Right. Coming up. Lynn's not the easiest person in the world to get along with at the moment, is she? Oh, she's always like that when she's ratty with Matt. I don't see why she's so against him expanding the business. Oh, she's not against it. She just knows Matt of old. He gets these big ideas and then they all collapse and then she has to pick up all the pieces. He did go bankrupt once, you know. Yeah, I know. He told me. And she stuck with him right through all that. Yes, well, I hope they can settle their differences soon. It's not easy being piggy in the middle, I can tell you. Hmm. I wonder how Dickon got on with his article on the education cuts. Huh? Well, they're doing a big spread on the way kids can't do all the things they were doing last year. Craft work, that sort of thing. Oh, yes, I know. Dickon says a lot of things are being affected. Hmm. Hey, it's his birthday tomorrow, isn't it? Is it? How would you know that? Well, he told me. He's 25. Oh, he didn't tell me it was his birthday. <laughs> Your cocoa, madam. Oh, thank you. No, oh, I've got him a present if I'd known. Hmm. I don't suppose he thought it was very important. Hey, I wonder if Lynn had let me off the restaurant tomorrow night. I could uh, cook him a birthday supper. I should think he might be rather embarrassed. Probably doesn't want any fuss. Yeah, well, we all think that, don't we? But it's nice when someone does make an effort all the same. Rather short notice, Rob. It's supposed to be my evening off this evening. Oh, well, all right. Doesn't make a lot of difference to me. You have tonight. I'll take tomorrow. Oh, thanks a lot, Lynn. You're an angel. Oh, I suppose that means Sophie will want tonight off as well, does it? Not as far as I know. Oh, I just thought she'd probably want to be in on the party too. No, I don't think so. Oh. Oh, well, that'll make life a lot easier for me if you're not both off together. Yeah. Well, thanks, Lynn. I'll just ring Dickon now if I may. Dickon Firth. Oh, hi, Dickon. It's Rob here. Oh, hello, Rob. Hey, many happy returns of the day. Oh, thanks. How did you know it was my birthday? Uh, Sophie told me. Oh. And uh, what I was ringing to say was, um, would you like me to cook supper for you this evening? Well, that's very nice of you, Rob. Uh, aren't you working? No, no, I'm not. I've got the evening off. So, um, if you're not doing anything... Well, I am having a drink with Debbie after oh, work. Oh, well, it doesn't matter if No, you're... no, that won't take all evening. But isn't it going to be a bit of a busman's holiday for you? Hmm? Cooking on your night off? No, I don't mind. In fact, I'd like to. Well, wouldn't you like it if we all went for a nosh somewhere? You and me and Debbie. <laughs> Well, if you're sure, thanks very much, Rob. So, uh, what time will you have finished your drink with Debbie? Uh, about half seven or eight, I suppose. Right, I'll expect you home then. Okay, see you. See ya. And Rob? Yeah? It's a very nice thought. Thank you. <laughs> ah, that's quite made my day. Over here, Dickon. Oh, hi, Debbie. Didn't see you for a minute. You know me. One foot on the bar rail, as usual. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dickon. Oh, thanks. I, um, I brought you this. Oh, Debbie, you shouldn't have. A record? Yeah, ten out of ten. <laughs> Schoenberg. Oh, that's marvellous, Debbie. You really shouldn't. I hope you haven't got it. No, I haven't. I did have a listen in the record shop. It sounded like that stuff you used to play when I was camping in your room. It may have sounded like it, but I don't have this particular record. Oh, good. Oh, thanks very much, Debbie. Mm, thanks, sir. Can I get you a drink? Oh, no, no, no. I'm buying the drinks today. It's your birthday. Oh, Debbie, don't be ridiculous. You're not earning it. I am. Don't so... patronise me, Dickon. I am buying the drinks. All right. I'll have a pint, please. Right. Um, excuse me. Uh, pint and a half of directors, please. Right, coming up. So, uh, how's the new squat? Cold. But you reckon you're better off there than you were in the news, do you? Oh, I don't know. Carol does, but I think we'll get noticed to quit again pretty soon. What will you do then? Move on again, I suppose. But with a bit of luck, this squat will see me out. Oh, sorry. You 
Cheers, Debbie. Cheers. Uh, how do you mean this squat will see you out? Well, once I'm shot of this great belly of mine, I'll be all right, won't I? I'll be a desirable tenant again. You're still set on having the baby adopted? Yep. Oh, I suppose you know your own mind. Yes, I do. Look, I don't want to talk about it, Dick, and all the squat. Okay. Right. Tell me about the paper. Give me today's odds on Morris being editor. Well, I think he's probably still the favourite, but uh, a little bird told me that there's another contender. <laughs> what, from the star? Yep. Who? <laughs> that would be telling. What are you cooking? Oh, nothing fancy. I'm just going to bake some pork chops and cream. Oh. oh, did you see there was a message from Claire? Oh, about people viewing the house. Mm. Yes, I did. All right, then. Well, have a nice evening. Mm -hmm. You're off to the restaurant? Mm. Well, I suppose I ought to wish you luck. How do you mean? Oh, come on, Rob. You're not telling me all this performance isn't an aid or something. What are you talking about? You're making a play for Dickon. Well, not so. <laughs> I just want to do something nice for the guy's birthday. Oh, yeah. You don't need to look like that. I don't even know if the guy's gay. Oh. Well, maybe tonight you'll find out. The trouble is, of course, she's got this Lady Thackeray threatening her with the press council. Press council? She hasn't got a hope, silly cow. Well, Liz doesn't publish a letter. She has got grounds for complaint. Oh, oh heavens. It's not the time, is it? Quarter to eight. Yeah, why? Are you going somewhere? Oh, yes, I am, as a matter of fact. Oh. Rob's cooking supper for me tonight. I said I'd be there by eight. Well, you're ditching me, are you? Oh, Debbie, I I'm sorry. I, were you... I thought we might have a Chinese or something. Oh, Lord. It's all right. I can always go back and eat at the squat. Well, will, will there actually be something there for you? Oh, yeah. Beans. <laughs> the menu never changes. Goodness, Rob. Candles. No one's made such a fuss on my birthday for years. Yeah, well, I like an excuse to make a fuss of people. Uh, do you want to start your avocado or do you want to drink first? Uh, oh, actually, I don't think I will. An awful lot of beer with Debbie. Well, should we sit down then? Yeah, yeah, let's. Uh, this Ooh. all looks great. Mm. Oh, who's this? Shout out of the window. Righty-o. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's Cressida, my sister. Hello, Cressy. Hi. Hang on, I'll throw you a key. No, it's all right. Someone's letting her in. Someone's letting her in. Sorry about this, Rob. Will the grub keep? Yeah, it's all right. Look, I'll uh, I'll just go and turn down the oven. Yeah, okay. Mmm. The avocado's really good. Glad you like it. I don't always like them, funnily enough. But this dressing. It's perfect. Mm, in here. Deacon. Hello, love. Happy birthday. Oh, Chrissy. Yeah. How generous. Oh, don't be silly. Um, I don't think you've met my flatmate, have you? Rob Pengelly? Oh, no. How do you do? My sister Cressida. Oh, pleased to meet you. Oh, sorry. I've gone and interrupted your dinner, haven't I? No, it doesn't matter. We can eat later, can't we, Rob? Yeah, sure. Uh, sit you down. I'll pour you a scotch. Thanks. Uh, how's Morris? Oh, all right. There. Okay. Mm. Hey, Chris. Are you all right? Oh, yes. I'm fine. It's just... Oh, Dickon. I've thrown out Morris. And... Oh, God, I'm going to cry. Mm. <laughs> oh, Dickon, I'm sorry. I came here to wish you happy birthday. <laughs> now I'm having hysterics all over the place. Oh, oh, Lord. Uh, Rob, Dickon, are you there? Yes, hello, Claire. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but could Mr. and Mrs. Belcher see the plan? Yes, of course, come in. Oh, dear. Looks like we're interrupting a party. No, no, not at all. We've finished eating. Oh, well, this is the sitting room, and then there are two bedrooms and a kitchen and bathroom. Oh, yes, yes, I see. Mm hmm. Well, I suppose it could be quite nice. He's a lot doing to it, though, doesn't he? Uh, yes, well, uh, if you've seen all you want to, perhaps we could go downstairs. Yes. 
Yes, thank you. Uh, come along, my dear. Thanks very much, you two. That's okay. Perfectly all right, Mrs. Nash. Well, I hope they don't buy this place. Needs a lot doing to it. <laughs> uh, do you want some more coffee? A Cointreau? Ah, no, thanks, I won't. It was a delicious meal, Rob. Thanks very much. Mm, that's all right. <laughs> it's very enjoyable. I'm glad you liked it. Mm. <sighs> Sorry about your sister. You're worried about her, aren't you? <sighs> yes, well, a bit. I expect she'll be all right. Yeah, sure she will. I hope she is through with that Morris Gill, to be quite honest. He's a real boor, that man. He sounds it. He's one of those men who thinks he has to be tough to prove his masculinity. Yeah, I know. I was involved with someone a bit like him once. Were you? Yeah. It wasn't physical violence, but I didn't half suffer. I don't want to go through that again. No. I'd like a close relationship, though, if I could find someone gentler. Yes, not all women are gentle, I know. This person wasn't a woman, actually, Dickon. Oh. oh, I see. Oh, God. You must think I'm awfully thick, Rob. It never occurred to me. I mean, I'm strictly heterosexual. <laughs> And there'll be an omnibus edition of Wagner's Walk at five o'clock each Sunday evening here on Radio 2. And with that, it's back to David Simons and much more music. Music just for you on Radio 2. Enchanted land beyond the blue And oh, how beautiful is night with you Stars awake and rise and smile before my eyes I'm in a wonderland I never knew And oh, how beautiful is night with you The moon is new And love holds me fast and you are mine at last We kiss and then My heart sings again 